who loves orange soda? Kel loves orange soda. Is it true? I do, I do, I do, I do. Ooh. Buddha, Brenda, Jessica, Susan, Scarlett. Buddha, papi, da, papa. Scra, da, da, di, da, da, da. nostalgia week. We're talking about the 90s. Let's be honest, we all adore the 90s. And even though we're all technically adults on this channel, I'm pretty sure we all still worship the 90s uh, music, TV shows, all that good stuff. Brenda, you were so right about the hit clips. I have some hit clips. I found them when I was cleaning out my room over last summer. They're so dumb. They don't even play the whole song and it's just like this little Chip, I, I don't understand what the point was, but I had them. I had a lot of things. There was Tamagotchis. I had a lot of Tamagotchis. I had one that was um, Salem the Cat from Sabrina the Teenage Witch, which was just perfection until, of course, I lost it in the couch and Salem died. And then it becomes a really morbid toy. One of the most fantastic things that I found recently from the 90s was my Game Boy Color. I had a pink one. It was lovely. Uh, it had a little light that you could plug into the side with like a little, I don't know if it was a USB port, but like a similar idea and it had a little light because the screen was so dark you could barely ever see it and then the light didn't really do much anyway. It was great technology. I never got into the Pokemon, which I have to admit I kind of regret. Essentially, for me, it was all Nickelodeon all the time. I liked Hey Arnold and Rugrats and Keenan and Kel and all that. And the Amanda Show? Was that still the 90s? That might have been inching into the 2000s, but I'm not sure when that was. And I also liked Boy Meets World quite a bit, which is why, since I still don't know the name of my puppy, all of my friends and I call her Topanga. The music of the 90s, I have to admit, I was not very in tune with. Yes, I enjoyed the uh, Hanson and NSYNC and Backstreet Boys and New Kids on the Block and all of that good stuff, but my mom was a jazzercise instructor during the 90s, and so I actually learned quite a few older songs because she was always listening to them and doing the routines, and I helped her cue up her cassette tapes because she had individual cassette tapes for every single song. There were hundreds of cassette tapes in our house. But anyway, those were, those were the songs that I listened to more often than what was actually current in the 90s. One of the other things that my mother and I were ridiculously addicted to was the Beanie Babies craze. This is one that I'm not sure who enjoyed it more, but I'm pretty sure it was my mother. She also worked at Hallmark at the time, and so it became a thing where when the Beanie Baby hype was so big and it was so hard to get your hands on them, when they would get a shipment in of these Beanie Babies at Hallmark, before they even went out on the floor, my mom would go through the box and she would find one of every single one. And if there were any missing, then she would order more or go to the other stores in the area. So I have accumulated a few Beanie Babies over the years. The 90s were good times. Uh, a lot more fun times than what I'm supposed to be doing right now, which is writing a paper on canine artificial insemination, which is due tomorrow morning. Jessica, I hope you had a fantastic birthday, but just because it's your birthday week and because you got to meet John Green does not mean we can excuse you for not making a video, so you're going to be punished. Look forward to that. See you tomorrow, Scarlet.